Little is known about the early life of Jeremy the Cajun wild man A. Bear. It is said that he was first seen water skiing a Bayou Terrebonne on the backs of two alligators, towed by a Boston whaler with Big God painted on its hull. As a youngster, Dirty J studied under the tutelage of the late Lloyd Sinsat, famed New Orleans historian and tour guide, and owner of the storied Sun Oak House in Faubourg Marigny. Sinsat taught Jeremy humanity and art at the legendary Hanville High School in Butte, Louisiana. Fuck Destrahan. But Jeremy, bereft of inspiration and dutiful to the path of the standard man cast aside his muse and instead pursued corporate servitude as his path to happiness. May for 18 long, long years, Sha, a tormented Jeremy toiled in the hellish pursuit of false American dreams him. Then, at the precipice of the crossroads, Hebert found himself forced to choose between a salary position at a food service supply company and his very soul. He chose the muse, which also curiously coincided with his getting fired from that job. To the world-famous Jackson Square, Jeremy went to begin the next chapter of his little life him and sell his uniquely fine art made from salvaged wood and windows from antique homes around New Orleans. For five long years, Sha, he'd fended off burglars and bums, drunks and drug addicts them, as he s slowly but steadily gathered a dedicated group of fans and followers on the fence. In this time, infused with his muse, the wild man became to come into his own. His bare arms them became covered with ink. His hair grew long, long. He married a fine woman, him, and he raised five little kids. His manner of dress became uniquely dank, and in 2015, he opened Dirty Boys, a gallery featuring his and others' southern salvaged art. At this gallery, Jeremy had the time, space, and setting to continue to develop his art for years to come. My name is Old Papa, and thank you for listening to what I had to say right here.